Hey Glam Squad, it's Glamour Girl and we are here for an episode of Gossip, girl, okay. And it's gonna be about Queen's Court, okay. Um, so, they been going through it, right? So, I guess to start it all off and give you a rundown, if you don't know what the fuck's going on, you've been under a fucking rock or several rocks. D-Rock, I'd be under D-Rock, okay, because he's fine. But anyways, um, so, um, going back, they were supposed to have an interview with Monique. And it didn't, there was technical difficulties, shit happened. And Kaya just walked off the fucking set. And then Maddie was stuck there crying. And it was sad. Like, what the fuck? So, you know, we're all giving our opinions online and shit like that. Because we watched it all happen on Periscope, on the live, all this shit. And it was fucked up what Kaya did. Like, that's not professional at all whatsoever. It's just not. And... You know, it was floating around that Matt, uh, that Maddie had spent all this money on like maybe two thousand dollars or some shit like that on like lights and and tech and all this shit for uh, this this interview and that she got really prepared for it. So it was fucked up that Kai just decided she wanted to fucking walk off. So fast forward, you know. Funky Dineva and Kaya get into it. I didn't, I didn't pay attention to that. I just know it was going back and forth. And Kaya was being, you know, saying some little shit that she probably shouldn't have no business saying, you know? Um, and then the point I want to get to is Madison's uh, Instagram live that she did when she was like, oh no, you're not about to call me no liar because they kind of separated the two. Um, Maddie said Queen's Court was going to come back on March 1st or some shit like that. Some, March 19th. It was going to come back on March 19th and um, but it didn't say that they was going to have a new host but I mean we're not stupid we can all kind of assume that there was going to be a new host especially since Kaya was doing gag order and she's like my sis gonna come on with gag order before Queen's Court it's gonna be good it's gonna be cool right so Kaya doing her damn gag order show or whatever and she gonna say that the Queen's Court ain't Maddie's and that she stole it so this is why Maddie does the damn Instagram live that was like over an hour long because she's like, I need to clear my damn name. You ain't gonna call me no fucking thief. So, it wasn't $2,000. It was much more than $2,000 she spent on all the technology and lights and everything that she did for that fucking, you know, show that they were gonna do when they were gonna interview Monique. And the reason she did it was because that, you know, networks were looking at them because they had been in talks with several networks about having a show. So, yeah, I probably, like, it all makes sense now, like, looking back in hindsight, like, oh, that's why she got so upset and started crying and this and that, because, uh, that's fucking with my money, like, I am working my ass off right now to get us to a, to the next level, and you're just gonna walk out on me, are you fucking kidding me? And then on top of that, fucking Maddie's like, no, bitch, I own this shit, she paid for the fucking copyright for Queen's Court, she fucking paid for the dot com, like, yeah, it don't matter if you was doing that shit on the big fluffy red couch, bitch, it don't matter where the fuck you was doing it, Kyle, or how long you been doing it, bitch, she's talking about, I've been doing this since 03, this is mine, it don't matter, girl, once she spent her motherfucking money, and was like, um, yes, let's, let's grab up Queen's Court, let's grab up the dot com, it's hers now, she owns it, once you own the trademark, you are the owner of it and the thing is you had your time and your your opportunity to put in the money on that shit to go and have to be you know the owner of it and you didn't so I don't know what to tell you um and then Kyle want to come back and be like oh well my issue was I didn't like the people she was bringing in for production I was like you know if we gonna get a show let's do it on our own it's gonna come when it comes and she was like but that's not how shit works no more and it's not you gotta get your own platform you gotta have your own shit and once you get your shit popping then they'll swoop in and be like okay we'll give you some money to make it look better to make it look nicer to for production value and shit like that and then once you, you need your audience you need basically everything set in place and then they'll give you some fucking money to make it look better that's that's how it works now point blank period so maddie had the right idea she's like we need to do this we need to do that and it was cute when they had the whole judge set up but kaya's talking about oh 
we need we could have just been at the kitchen table which a lot of people were saying on social media which is fucking stupid like no because one maddie's trying to go somewhere maddie's trying to get these checks okay which the bitch is all about get the checks bitch okay but the thing that pisses me off is like they were encouraging them to just stay stagnant to not you know grow that's stupid and then on top of that kaya's like we could have just did this and did that kind of makes you look like a fucking hater because it's one thing to be like oh this is my job we're just discussing what these celebrities do because there are so many people that do that you know there are so many people making money off that that is their career i mean shit the shade room baller like uh bicep. like there are so many things like celebrity gossip celebrity news is the thing especially with twitter and shit like that we all talk about celebrities but for you to sit there and say that you don't want to make money off this shit. You don't want to grow it. You don't want to turn it. And you don't want to further the brand. That makes you look a hater. Like you just want to sit here and talk shit on these people. Which you have been calling you for a long time. But I always excuse it as you doing your job. This is your job. You getting paid. Whatever. Whatever. You know? But for you to not want to progress it at all. And not want to take it to the next level. It just makes you look like a fucking hater. But anyways. Um, personally for me. I want to see um, Madison and uh, Jasmine Masters together, and I think it would be real cute if they had a show on um, Logo. That would be real fucking cute. So I hope putting that into the universe is gonna fucking happen because I saw them on Periscope and the shit was hilarious. I don't, I don't personally want to see Dineva and Madison together. I don't want to see that dynamic. I want to see Jasmine Masters and Maddie together doing Queen's Court on Logo TV. That would be the shit, okay? Let me know who you think T.S. Madison's new um, co-host should be. Uh, let me know how you feel about Kaya. You, you could say that I'm a hating ass bitch and that she was doing her shit. Let me know, okay? Um, but... I hope Maddie gets it all together because the bitch got everything in order. She was getting the coins. She was she was making sure. She said, I made a million dollars from my bed before, bitch. I'll do it again. Okay? That, how could you not like a bitch like that? I made a million dollars from my house before. I'm going to do it again, bitch. How can you not admire that? God damn. That bitch make you want to go up and, and do something important. Okay? So follow me on Instagram at Gorgeous Glamour and then follow me on Twitter at Glamour Girl. Glamour is G-L-A-M-H-E-R. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Tell a friend to tell a friend, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.